In this beginner's tutorial, I'll show you how to make this very simple model of a car using some of the mesh objects built into Blender. I'll also show you how to enter location, rotation and scale values directly into the properties window. So we'll start by doing File New. I'm going to go to the View menu and I'm going to toggle Quad View. I'm going to open up the side panel and go to the object properties of the cube. In the right view, I'm going to press S for scale, followed by Y for the Y direction. Now, if you notice, the Y scale factor has changed. I can click on it and actually enter a value. I'm going to enter a value of 4. I'm going to the front view. I'm going to press S to scale, followed by X for the X direction. I'm going to stretch the cube again. And if you look, its X scale factor has changed. And if I click on it, I can enter a value. I'm going to enter 2.5 and enter. With the cursor in the 3D window, I'm going to duplicate the cube by holding down Shift and pressing D on the keyboard, immediately followed by Enter. That creates a new cube, cube 001. I want to move the cube up. I can nudge it up by clicking the arrow on the Z or Z location. I can also move it a lot quicker if I drag, just do it gently. That will move the cube up and down. I want to put the cube on top of the original so I'm going to enter a value of 2. I'm going to change the Y scale to 1.5 and the Y location I'm going to change to 0.5. I'm going to go to the Add menu and I'm going to add Mesh Torus. I'm going to click on the tip of this red arrow, the 3D manipulator widget, and drag to bring the torus out from inside the car. I need to rotate the wheel. As a beginner, you might need to experiment, but we need to go to the front view and press R to rotate, to rotate about the Y axis. The exact value we want is 90 degrees. I'm going to drag on the tip of the red arrow, the 3D manipulator widget, to move the wheel close to the body of the car. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel in all three orthogonal views and I'm going to enter an exact value for the X location of 2.8. I'm going to use the tip of the green arrow to move the wheel in the Y direction but I'll enter an exact value of minus 2.4 and I'll use the tip of the blue arrow to move the wheel down in the Z or Z direction but I'll enter an exact value of minus 0.8. I'm going to duplicate the wheel. I'm holding down Shift and pressing D on the keyboard, followed by Enter. I'm dragging on the tip of the green arrow. But if this wheel is at position minus 2.4, this will be at position plus 2.4 in the Y direction by symmetry. I'm going to duplicate the duplicate, so I'm going to hold down Shift and press D and press Enter. I'm going to drag on the tip of the red arrow, but again, by symmetry, if this is at 2.8, this will be minus 2.8 in the X direction. And finally, I'm going to duplicate this wheel, Shift, D and Enter, and I'm going to enter a value of minus 2.8. I'm going to select the body of the car and I'm going to click on the material button to add some colour. The default cube comes with a default material called material. I'm going to rename that red. I'm going to click on the diffuse colour. I'm going to drag down in the colour wheel to give me a red. The top of the car picks up the red because it was a duplicate. It had the default material as well. I'm going to select a wheel. I need to add uh, a new material. I'm going to call the new material black and I'm going to click on the diffuse color and drag this down to make that black and then I'm going to go around the other wheels. If you click this button it lists all the materials and I'm going to select black from the list and repeat that for the other wheels. I'm going to join all the parts together to form a single mesh object. But before you do that, it's important to save because the join operation is pretty permanent. So I'm going to save as car touch 7. 
and once I've done that I'm going to select all the parts by holding down shift and the top of the car as well and then I'll click the join button and that has been joined together and if I go to the properties I can rename that car that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the finished file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye